If you've ever wondered how this Maytag lid switch works, you've come to the right video. Today I pulled it out of my washer because it broke. So I decided to pop the rivets off and take a look inside to see how it worked. So let's talk briefly about the connections. You have here at the neutral, the line, the voltage, AC voltage, your motor, and your machine. So the reason there's a machine connection is so that your washer can have power while the lid is open so that you can load your laundry while the machine fills with water with the lid open. So let's take a look at the inside of the switch to see how it works. As you can see, this part here, I'm going to call it a fusible link because that's uh, my assumption of its purpose. It has burnt out, so it has opened. When the link is not burned out, it holds these contacts over here together, like that. So let's talk about what these contacts are. So here on top you have the neutral, then down here you have line voltage, that's AC120, and then this connection is the motor, and then this one right here is your machine voltage. So here's another close-up. As you can see, this line voltage connects here between these two contacts to the machine input. So if this connection was not burned out, this contact would be closed. So just assume that this contact is closed as you're figuring out how the switch works. So line voltage is always connected to the machine connection. So when your lid is open, nothing is pressed against this plunger here. So as the switch sits here, this represents your lid open position. So let's take a look at the contacts to see where everything is going. So as I mentioned before, we have line voltage in this connector. And since this is closed, when this isn't burned out, we'll always have line voltage at the machine terminal. So your machine is always on no matter what position this switch is in. Now let's take a look at where the motor connector leads us. This contact here is the motor connector. And let's follow it down here. So in the lid open position, it connects over here to the neutral. Now let's see what happens when we depress the plunger. As you can see, the connection to the neutral line is broken, and then this contact switches over to where the machine input is connected, and the machine input always has line voltage. So when the plunger is depressed, the neutral is disconnected, and the motor is then connected to line voltage. So I'll press that again so you can take a look. Neutral disconnected line voltage. So just to recap what's going on, we have the neutral line up here, line voltage, the motor, and the machine. When we press the plunger, and the, when, you when you close the lid, this presses the plunger, it breaks the neutral to motor connection, and then connects the motor to the AC line voltage. So that allows the machine and the motor to work when the lid is closed. And when you open the lid, the motor is connected to the neutral, and the machine is still connected to your AC line voltage. And this fusible link here holds this con these contacts together so that line voltage can travel to the machine connector. So there you have it. That's how the lid switch works.